You guys have been asking some awesome questions on my videos, so I wanted to make a video answering some of them. I also have some dishes to do, so we're gonna try answering these while I do the dishes. Hopefully the audio is not bad. If it is, probably won't do this format again, but yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, so the first question I got was actually on my recent YouTube video, which is what is the tech stack of Ellie? Okay, so I just recorded a clip. Turns out when I keep the faucet on, it is a little distracting. So we're gonna try to minimize that whenever I answer the questions. You're probably gonna see me soaping things a lot and just not washing them, but I promise I'm rinsing them off. So the tech stack for Ellie is pretty simple. It's React, Swift, and Firebase. So more specifically, I use React for the web version. And then the desktop version is using this thing called Electron, which basically is a way to package your React app and make it available on desktop. The iOS apps are built in Swift and more specifically Swift UI. Along with the iPhone app, Ellie is available on the iPad. And there's still a lot of differences, but like 80% of the code gets to be shared between the iPhone and iPad app. So it's not too bad. For the back end, I actually use this service called Firebase for most of it. Firebase is basically this back end as a service. Great because they take care of a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to the back end. They take care of things like authentication, a database. You honestly don't even have to write APIs to connect to the database. They have a bunch of awesome libraries for React and Swift, so you can plug directly into the database and start editing data, which is really great for beginner developers. I do have a small server, which I do use to host a couple endpoints, like the payment endpoint. Yeah, it's running a really simple express server. For hosting, I'm using Vercel for the front end. Pretty sure I'm on their free plan. Firebase itself hosts most of the back end, like the database and authentication. I'm using this company called Render to host the small back end server. So to summarize, it's React, Swift, Firebase, and then a small Express server. It's honestly a really simple tech stack that I recommend. Another follow-up question I usually get is, why did I pick React? Why did I pick Swift UI? So let's get into that a little bit. Choosing a tech stack is pretty hard, especially if you're just getting started. It's 2023 and there's thousands of options now for what kind of tech stack you should be running. And there's a lot of people with very strong opinions on what their favorite tech stack is. My opinion is that people should choose the tech stack that they're most comfortable with, that they can build and ship the fastest with, and for me, that just happens to be React. I know a lot of people who are much faster with something like Next.js. I am not one of those people, so I'm not using Next.js. One of the most common questions I get asked is, why didn't I choose React Native or Flutter for the mobile versions? Because Ellie doesn't have an Android app, and so people are always telling me, hey, you should release this on React Native, because then you'll have both an iOS and an Android app. I don't regret choosing Swift because I was able to move quickly, but if I could go back in time knowing what I know now, I probably would have invested more time trying to get Flutter to work. I chose the languages and framework I did because I move the fastest with them. And I think that's the main takeaway. There's always gonna be a new language or framework coming out, and I think people should pick the language that they're most comfortable with and that they can move the fastest with. At the end of the day, most customers don't really care what the app was built in. They just want a working product. If picking a language is preventing you from shipping something, I think you should just pick something and know that you can always change it later. It's not a big deal. Hope this was interesting and that the format wasn't too distracting. If you guys have any questions, please comment below or on any of my other videos, and I'm happy to make other videos answering those questions. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.